it is it's just gone midnight um and i just had a whole full day not being on any patches not being on any hrt <sighs> um and I'm, i've been okay um and then i've had like some breakthrough bleeding this evening um which is really annoying because this period that I had on my oestrogen and progesterone patch was really light, like really light. And then this one that since stopping it, my period's got a little bit heavier. I'm guessing it's because, so when you're on, just for argument's sake, if you're on oestrogen, you're at level 100. And then when you drop to oestrogen and progesterone, that's when you get a period because you're going from high oestrogen to not as much oestrogen. And now my body's going from not as much oestrogen to not being given any oestrogen. Um, and then eventually, unless I get my levels up myself, I'll go back down to what I was, which was me not having much oestrogen at all um, which is not what I want but I was just downstairs in the kitchen and I suddenly had really bad cramps and I was like I'm bleeding <laughs> um, yeah so that's not fun I so it's Thursday morning now and I'm meant to be going to well I am going to Cannes next Wednesday morning, really, at like one in the morning, I leave here. Um, and I'm there for seven nights. And I don't want to be bleeding. <laughs> I really don't want to be bleeding. But I also don't want to be super puffy and water retentive because you know, it's, it's a glamorous occasion. Um, you know, if you want to look your best, it's also a business event. And I am my business. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a few days, see how I feel if I'm not doing well with the withdrawal of oestrogen. I'll just have to either put on an oestrogen patch, which I don't really want to do, or start my gel, but then that might have side effects. Oh boy. Um, It's just really annoying. I was going to say something as well, and I completely forgot what it was. That's really annoying. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh, that was it. Um, one of the reasons as well where I thought it might be a good idea to not be on anything whilst I'm in can is because obviously I can't do my normal workout routine when I'm there, so I won't be doing as much physical exercise, which would maybe be a good introduction to decreasing my exercise whilst not being on any hormones. So that my body and my natural hormones go, oh, okay, it's all right. It's okay. We, we're, we're all right. We can start making our own hormones now. Um, which would be nice. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on hormonally. Hi guys. So it's the next morning. Um, oh, didn't have... I didn't have an awful night's sleep, but um, really bad cramps, really bad, which is weird because I hadn't had that really at all when I was on my estrogen progesterone patches. So I think my body was, my body is super sensitive to medication. It's great in some ways because I know like, oh, okay, that medication does or doesn't agree with me. But it's also not great because when the medication is coming out of my system, I react really violently to it. Um, yeah, so really bad cramps. I woke up this morning, I felt, I still do, feel very nauseous, very tired, still really bad cramps. Um, and I was doing research a little bit last night and it was saying that you shouldn't just come off of HRT 
if you're on the patches, especially, you should like cut them in half. Um, so you're on half dosages. So that's what I've done. I decided that I needed to be, I couldn't just not take anything. Um, yeah, and I was starting to feel a bit dizzy as well, which I don't want. And also I, you can have like breakthrough bleeding when you come off of it. I just could not be dealing with that next week in Cannes. <laughs> um, I thought about going on my gel um, and I looked it up and on my gel, it says it has 7 point, 750 micrograms of estrogen, but one of my patches has 3.5 mg of estrogen. So one of my patches has half the dose of one of the pumps, I believe. I could be getting that wrong, but that's what I read in my haze this morning. And I just thought, oh God, do I want to be taking a higher dosage right before I go away? Because I don't know how my body will react to that. Um, not just physically, but also do I, do I want to be feeling nauseous um, all the time again, like I was when I first started estrogen on my patches. So I've put half an estrogen patch on today, which I'm hoping will stop my bleeding and will make my body realize that it's okay. <laughs> we don't have to have a period continuously right now. Um, if it doesn't stop by tomorrow, I'm just gonna have to put the other half on and just have to continue with the patches this cycle and then maybe go on to the gel next time. I just wanted to update you guys because my doctor just said, oh no, you can just stop or you can just switch to a, a different one. I hate to say it, but he was a man. I don't know whether that, I don't know whether he really understands. It, it might not even matter that he was a man. I don't think a lot of doctors, unless you are a specialist in female hormones, really understand the implications of HRT and how it works. Um, and it's not necessarily their fault, you know, it's their training. Um, for some reason, female hormones are put on the back burner, which is ridiculous because they are super important. I mean, I've tried talking to my mum about like what I'm gonna do and stuff like that. And even she, as a woman in her, early 60s, I mean 40s, she looks very good for her age, not that she's old anyway, I'm waffling, she um, was like Tiff, I'm really sorry but I don't really understand it and I, I said to her last night, I said well you should try and understand it because it's your body, you're a woman, she said yeah I know, I, I, I should, and again it's because we're not taught it, anyway I am getting way off topic, I've taken half a patch, hopefully that will help, if not the other half is going on tomorrow and I will just have to deal with it this month. But they actually sit better on your body when you cut them in half. Gosh, my hands look big like this. Um, yeah, they sit better on your body when, they, when they're cut in half. Um, so hopefully we won't have issues of them coming off of me. Anyway, off to the gym, then off to the hairdressers to get this fixed before we can. Hello, so it is Thursday afternoon. I'm still bleeding. It's not fun. I went to the pharmacist today um, to ask her basically like, am I dying? And she was like, no, it's because you had 24 hours without any estrogen and your body is now used to estrogen. So hopefully in the next 24, 48 hours, you should stop bleeding now that you've put your estrogen patch on. But if you don't, just go back to the doctor. And I was like, oh, the, the doctor who told me it was okay to just stop taking HRT and everything would be hunky-dory. So she did also say that I could possibly put one pump of the estrogen gel on as well. And I'm not going to lie, guys, I'm really thinking about doing it because 
I'm not enjoying this. Not enjoying this at all. Um, yeah, and I need my period to stop before Tuesday night because that's when I fly. And I don't want to be in can with this. Yeah, so I just want to update you all. So I may, I'm going to look at the instructions and I may take a pump of estrogen gel. I hate that word, pump. It's weird. Okay guys, so it's Saturday afternoon. I thought that the bleeding had subsided. It has slightly, but not enough. So I'm going to go put one pump of the gel on. Let's see if that helps. Hello. So it is Sunday morning. I put half a pump of my gel on yesterday and I think it helped a little bit. And then I woke up this morning and I'm still bleeding. So I put a, another pump of the gel on. I change to another patch tomorrow, a new estrogen patch. So I'm hoping and praying that that stops the bleeding. Um, if I haven't stopped bleeding by tomorrow, I need to call the doctor because it shouldn't be going on this long. And yeah, it's just very uncomfortable and um, stressful because I'm going away Tuesday night and I don't want to be worrying about this the entire time I'm away. Um, yeah, so, and on top of all the stress of just packing and going away in general, which is not particularly nice having to worry about this, it's not fun. But yeah, just thought I'd update you guys on what I've been doing to try and stop this bleeding. And hopefully, the bleeding will stop today or tomorrow. <laughs> hey guys, so I went to a different pharmacist today because I was just getting fed up because I thought the bleeding had uh, stopped and then it, it, it hadn't. So I went to the pharmacist um, I had to explain the whole situation. And she was very helpful. My dad's home and he's hoovering. She was very helpful in the sense that she actually was like listening and trying to understand what was going on. Um, but it's a Sunday and they were closing pretty soon. Um, she said, she was like, are you feeling really tired? And I said, well, yeah. And she said, well, I'm not surprised you're losing a lot of blood. I was like, yeah, I'm aware. Um, and she, to be fair, she was really helpful. She was like looking through all the different medications, like find out how much I could take and stuff. Um, yeah. So she said, call one 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 if it gets any worse. He's moved on now. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, call one 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 if it gets worse, which I will do, which I will do, which I will do. But of course, I've come home. And I'm barely bleeding. It's a, it's just, it's, it's, it's very tricky at the moment. And to make things worse, I got a herpes outbreak a couple of days ago. I've been taking meds for that, so that's fine, but, and it's cleared up, but the nerve pain quite bad this time it's down my left leg I keep getting like shooting pains so I'm like ah that really hurts um yeah so that's not been fun not great timing um I feel I was saying to my mum I feel like I'm a bottle and someone's just putting loads of chemicals in as like an experiment to see what happens that's what it feels like at the moment I feel like they've just given me medication go okay there you go help no one is helping me the pharmacists have been more helpful than my doctors and yeah so it's sunday evening now if i am still bleeding tomorrow morning i'm calling my doctor 
I don't know what they can do to me to stop the bleeding. <laughs> but obviously when you go on an aeroplane and you're bleeding, it's the air pressure makes you a lot of t the time bleed more. And I don't want to do that. I do not want to arrive in Cannes and have what I had a couple of days ago because that was horrific, like scary. Um, I've never been like that before in my life. Um, yeah. So I'm praying because tomorrow morning I'm getting up, whacking on my second estrogen patch and just praying to whatever, whoever that the bleeding stops.